hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel i am so glad to be back and as you can see today i have some new content for you guys something very different i'm basically going to be showing you guys my curly hair routine i guess you can say and like how i style my curly hair and the products i put in it so let's just get on into the video she got someone that she sees late night I for starters i would like to begin with how i even get my hair to this point because if you know me you know my hair is straight nine times out of ten my hair is blow dried or my hair is flat ironed i barely have my hair curly so i get asked a whole bunch how do i prevent heat damage because like how can my hair look like this if my hair is straight all the time like blow dried every week <laughs> So, like, I don't know the exact answer to that question, but I believe it's the hair products that I use, like, when I'm washing my hair before I blow dry or even before I, I have curly hair, because I use the same products, like, all throughout the year. I don't even change my products, nothing, none of that. So, for shampoo, I use this Curl You Clean Me. I use this even when my, I straighten my hair, like, literally all the time. This is what it looks like this whole collection like these products this is like i have a whole line of these products for like curly hair and stuff and i got the whole thing from the dominican republic so i don't know it's called ritual afro hair care yeah so i don't know like where exactly you can buy it but i'm pretty sure they have it online somewhere i'm going to check to see where you can find it and i'm going to list it in the description box below so i use this um curl you clean me the reason why i use this shampoo no matter what curly hair straight hair is because it's sulfate free also it's um colorants parabens and salt free so that's four things colorants parabens salt and sulfate free and the reason why that is really good is because if you know like if you use a sulfate um shampoo your hair when you curl it is going to be stripped so bad like your hair you don't understand like it takes out all the moisture from your hair so that's why i use this shampoo because it leaves the moisture in my hair and this shampoo it has whipped oils it has coconut quinoa sunflower argan manoi olive flax macadamia and avocado oil so girl you better have the moisturized hair all that not dry girl you know so yeah this shampoo is called curl you clean me boom and next what i do when i'm washing my hair which is so important i feel like this is the key to not having heat damage because i've done this all my life and my hair has looked the same and it is deep conditioning like no matter what even if you don't have a treatment like a a treatment I don't know what to say um you can still deep condition with normal conditioner it could be the cheapest conditioner you own and you can still deep condition just put a whole bunch of that on and leave it in your hair let that hair soak it in so your hair could be nice and moisturized and I feel like that's what really helps with um with heat damage but for me what I use when I wash my hair literally all the time is um the silicone mix let me see if you can I can focus silicone mix mix this is like mad famous like everyone i feel like everyone has used this or seen it before or smelled it like the smell if you smell this in my hair you know exactly what i use like you know exactly what it is and basically i just put this on and it says leave it for two to three minutes let me see actually let me make sure yeah it says leave off for two to three minutes depending on the condition of the hair i my hair is not like mad crappy or anything but i leave this on for dear life like i think i leave it on for like a good 15 minutes or so and after i do that then i untangle my hair and my hair looks amazing like as soon as i deep condition my hair my curls like bounce back right away so that's basically what i do to get my hair like this like what i do to wash my hair so it can be nice and curly you know so yeah now let's get on into like the routine basically how I style it so let's get on into that 
So this is basically how I wear my hair when it's curly. I part it. I do my little edges or whatever, and like a little I leave a little curl. This curl is kind of weird. I leave a little curl or whatever. This is like literally how I wear my hair all the time. So the first product I actually put in my hair is this Curl You Revive Me from the Ritual Afro Hair Care. It is a spray. This is what it looks like. I hope you're getting a good image. <laughs> it is a spray. I shake it up because it, like when I first got it, it was like separated like oil and like liquid. I was about to say milk. <laughs> but yeah, I just use this to revive my curls, basically. So I spritz it all over my hair. I don't know what I do with my hair. This is what like like this basically got him ah! nah but that's what i do because if I, I feel like when i rake it through like right away my hair gets super freezy so like this is, i'm basically separating the hair but i'm not raking through it because in my opinion i feel like raking through it at this point in time it gets my hair super frizzy right here i the reason why i part my hair actually is because um i have a section of, of my hair in the front that never got curly like ever in my life literally every time i ever did my hair curly it would be wavy or straight <laughs> and my mom told me that that's because i never shed i never shed the hair in the front like this section right here and the hair in the back like you know like when you're a baby and you shed your hair i mean i really don't know i never saw that happen because like i was a baby but that's what she said happened this is what my hair looks like now i mean it is a, the products you can't really see like a drastic change right away but i still do it if that makes sense uh, now I use this curl you guard me this is a leave-in and I even use this leave-in when I am blow drying my hair like right before I blow dry I put some on my hair and then I blow dry it that's also a key for heat damage because this is anti-breakage leave-in and anti-breakage leave-in so it basically has the same stuff as the other products if you want to see I mean it literally is the same there we go so I use mostly focus this on my ends and also in that area that doesn't get curly in the back of my head oh I use a lot by the way <laughs> I like to rake it, like actually rake it in the bottom of my hair because that hair gets so curly, it's not even funny. And it gets like super short, and then the rest of my hair is like, eh, like a little bit longer than it. So I make sure, like, I pull this hair down so it doesn't get so curly, and then I um, scrunch up the rest so that part can get curly. And like shrink up more. My hair is like crazy shrinkage. My hair is like mostly under my boobs. Let me get a good hair. Yeah, look. So my hair is like right under my boobs. And once it's curly, it gets right on my shoulders. I don't know why I'm speaking like that. So the next product I use is this Curl You Define Me product, which is a curl sculptor. And when I think about a sculptor, I think about gel, but this is not like gel at all, actually. It does not get sticky, does not get hard. I don't know exactly what it is, but, oh, these products do smell good, but this one doesn't really smell like it. <laughs> but I use this, like, as I said, um, on the bottom part that likes to scrunch up. I really use it on almost all my hair. <laughs> I don't know what I'm lying for. I 
And after I do that, this is when I really like scrunch up most of the hair because I like my hair to be very big actually and voluminous. Even I don't even have to crunch up my hair for it to do that. Like my hair is crazy big, and I sometimes I hate it, sometimes I love it. So that's what I do. I make sure I scrunch up this part because this part is like. It's like right here, these hairs that don't like to get, look, that never got curly. They're getting a little bit curly now, but that's a miracle. <laughs> and now the last product that I use is this oil. And it's, I think it's like all the oils that I mentioned. <laughs> all right. So the next product that I use is this oil and I think it's basically all the oils that I mentioned before all in just oil form. So it's just whipped oil. It's called Curl You Moisturize Me with the coconut. Mm. Oh this one has more stuff. Alright so the oils are coconut, quinoa, sunflower, argan, manoi, olive, flax macadamia and avocado oils but this one says it's um colorants parabens salt sulfate mineral oil petrolatum and silicone free so i'm not sure exactly what those other things do to your hair i just know that um, sulfate um, strips your hair but I didn't know anything about silicone and all this extra stuff doing anything to your hair so but I guess that's a good thing right so basically I just put some on the top and I also want to put some in the front because I want the part to be shiny as fuck So that is basically it for the products that I use. I basically used one, two, three, four, four products to style my hair and just two products to wash my hair. So that's that's really all you need. I actually don't even use that much products. I'm making this video because a bunch of people love to ask me what is my curly hair routine. But on a day to day basis when I do wear my hair curly. I would probably just use one of these products and that is the leave-in like honestly I don't do much on my hair I feel like having more more and more products just weighs down your hair but thankfully these products are actually really lightweight and I think it's because like the oil that it has is like whipped oil so it doesn't weigh down my hair um but like on a good day I would do this like to make sure my hair lasts and make sure it looks like nice and pretty when I whenever I want to make it look pretty Sometimes I'll just, I'm telling you, I'll just throw in the leave-in and I'll just go right out. I really don't care. But I basically just let my hair air dry because I can't use a diffuser for nothing. They don't work for me. I mean, I don't even have the piece to diffuse my hair. So maybe that's why. But I did try to do it once. Someone said you could do it with your hand and it just didn't work out for me. So I just let my hair air dry. And since I mostly do my hair in the summer... The sun basically just dries it up in a minute, but nah, not really because my hair in the back, it'd be wet for like the whole day. But anyways, since it's still like, whenever I do my hair, it is in the summer, I usually sit in front of the AC or the fan and I just like wave my head in front of it so it can dry. That's actually a pretty good idea, it dries pretty fast, but even if it's not dry, I really don't care. I will still go on my hair wet. I always do. That's why I don't wear my hair out, my hair curly in the winter because my hair takes forever to dry. So I just, my mom believes I will get sick if my hair is wet in the cold. So I don't know. I heard that was a myth, but some people still say it's true. 
But anyways, this is basically my curly hair routine. I hope you guys like it and I hope you guys ask me for more hair thingies, majiggies. I'll probably do more in the summer because that's when I really get creative with my hair. Fall and the winter, my hair is straight all the time. So that's why I don't really like doing hair things yet because it's still not summertime. Like, I do bantu knots in the summer. I'll be doing my box braids in the summer. I actually wanted to do a, a video on, like, how I do my box braids. But, um, it's literally the same as every other video on YouTube because that's where I, I got it from. So, yeah. So I'm basically going to let my hair dry. Sometimes I take a towel and, like, dry the ends. But yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.